Hi guys, I am Isa. Today, we're going to learn how to make a, a, a coder in the decoder in Python. So basically, what I mean is a thing that can, I uh, can encode text into some sort of special format and then decode it and turn it back to normal text. All right, so yeah. All right, so I'm going to write imp is equal to input what do you want to encode now i'm going to say for c in m print c so now i'm going to save the file and run it so i write hj it's going to say h and j so now I'm not going to print this here anymore. So, I'm going to start quoting the actual thing. So if C is equal to... Alright, so we're just going to do this in alphabetical order. A. So, so if C is equal to A, then... C is equal to... I have to do space bar first. This was a space. And C is equal to um I was gonna write zero. Zero has to be a string. So then I'm going to say then I'm going to say print out C. Okay, so yeah. Okay, I'm not going to put out the C instead. I want to say final plus equals C. So say final, final will be an empty string. So at the end of the program, I'm going to print final. If I write my name is Isa, it replaces all the spaces with zeros. Like it's even more mysterious, you can replace all the other characters. Well, it's, you have to replace all the other characters. You can say LC is equal to, we're going to use A, and C is equal to 1. So if I write the file again, uh, it says that. I'm supposed to write LF. So. Let me save the file again. So, right. This and then place this to A with one. So we're gonna keep it with the same thing. But the other answer So if C is equal to B, then C is equal to two. So now let me just test that one last time. Write A B space. It will need to turn out to be 120. So now we just have to Keep on adding as many characters as you want. You can even, if you want, you can add like okay, add like capital characters or like capital characters or symbols or things like that. Alright, so I'm just gonna write A B C D. Whoops, A B C D space. Now, once you write that sentence that we wrote before, you'll see that it's replaced quite a bunch of stuff. Okay, so like, uh, yeah. So that's basically the encoder done. So now, I've done writing the encoder. Okay, so instead of just encoding it using letters, I used symbols to make it even more mysterious because, well, that's kind of the point of the encoder. So you can see that it returns this garbled up string of of uh, numbers and symbols and, and stuff. But there's a pattern. Like if I write A A A B B B C C C D D D and I don't know anything else, you see that A A A is one one one, B B B is two two two, and then three four five. So if I write something like A B C D E F G H R J K, it's one two seven five six seven eight nine zero with exclamation mark. 
right now uh, so you can't really do like music with these codes and that's kind of a problem so we have to create the decoder so that so what's this so i'm going to say in is equal to input what do you want to decode and i'm going to reset the final variable well yeah, let me just write print file over here so that you know because of things like that the file is going to be an empty string all right so i'm just going to take this and copy it and paste it well but i, but I can't really do that since i you know because i can't okay so i'm just going to use Uh, instead, I'm just gonna say for C in M. So right now I have to copy the ones there. So, so for example, if C is zero, then C is going to equal to space. Whoopsies, string zero, because in here it says if C is equal to space, it's gonna be zero. And let me save it. So if I write space bar, it's gonna give us this code. If I paste it in the code place, it's gonna I'll do nothing because it doesn't add a C, it's just a final. The so final plus equals C. So now if we feed it to the coder again, it's gonna dish out where the space bar is for us. Alright, so let me just do another one, or maybe another pair of two. If C is equal to 1, then it's A. 2, 1, C is equal to A. And else if C is equal to 2, C is equal to B. Let's just replace all these with else ifs. Then save it. So if I have code something like uh, A, B, C, D, it's going to be 1, 2, 0, 3, 4. The place in the code, the place is going to say, it's going to be able to decode the A, B in the space, but not the 3, 4. So we're going to have to write that. So basically, if you just copy and paste it, then you'll be, then you'll be able to just swap them. Space. So it's going to be one for A and two for B, three for C, and so on, so on. So yeah, just copy and paste it, and then start, you know, like reversing them. So now we've done our uh, decoder system. So what do you want to encode? Uh, let me write something here. Hello, my name is. He's, uh, and, and after it returns this jumble.mass, we can copy it, put it into the decoding place, and it decodes it perfectly. And also, the decoding is uh, symbols and numbers only. So, so it doesn't. So, uh, yeah. So, for example, if what's the decoding place, I can write. Uh, if I want to write hello, I can write like. So H in here is 8, E is 5, L is uh, whatever that is, and the L again, and O is going to be a percentage. It's going to be hello. If you have code, it's going to be the same thing. So anyways, that's the end of today's tutorial. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe. So bye.